Hello, gentlemen, boys and girls. Nigel here again from nigertry.com. Today's video is going to be a short and sweet video. And I just want to let you know that I am buying the dip for cryptocurrency. And of course, this video is for entertainment, okay, for information. I'm not asking you to invest in anything if you don't want to. I'm not asking you to sell everything just to buy anything, okay? Do your own research. And I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, okay? So, shall we get into it? Right, let's get started, okay? So, I, I, I prepared a video, I think a couple, I think last week or a couple of weeks back, that, and I asked that, is it time to buy the dip, right? And mulling for a while and looking at the price play, okay? So, I'm going to take you to CoinGecko. So, I'm, this, this is the one that I'm using all the time right now. And let me just okay, I just I just stick to the screen, okay? And I just bring it to Bitcoin price movement. If you look at Bitcoin price movement, right, over here, okay, I go at the max setting, right? And you can see Bitcoin right now, as of today, is priced at twenty one thousand. Can you see? Okay, right now twenty two, twenty twenty two, twenty one thousand. This is a slide, right? It has slide down from the all-time high of 60-ish thousand. I think 69,000 was the highest. So this means there's a downward play a lot, right? From 65,000, 69,000, all the way to 22,000. Let's run the numbers, right? So 22,000 divided by 69,000. So it has went down about 70%. So Bitcoin right now is 70% from at the high. I'm not saying this is a bottom. Bitcoin could still very well go down another 30, 40, 50% from 20,000, from 22,000. Yeah. I mean, who knows, right? When the Fed's announced another interest rate hike, maybe the market, the stock market will be shook and then the price will drop further. But I'm not that interested to time the market. For me, from a very general standpoint, I'm looking at it from the at the high with sixty nine thousand and the price today. To me, the price is delicious enough to enter. I entered and bought some Bitcoin. Okay, so this is a, already a drop of seventy percent. If it drops some more, fine, I'll buy some more, right? And let's look at uh, let's look, okay. Let's talk about it a little bit more. Um, what many people don't know is that six months ago, when the price was around fifty ish grand around here. I think around here, I sold most of my position into stablecoin, and I didn't. I I was lucky. I didn't enter into Terra Luna. I didn't enter into uh, yeah Terra Luna. Right. I just went to USDC. I ignored and avoided the anchor protocols and all those protocols out there would that, that were giving like you know twenty percent, fifteen percent. It just seemed too good to be true. Okay, and it stings right now. And if you're caught up in that, I'm so sorry. Okay, um, and I just I just banked it in crypto.com, right? And then I, I, I staked it. So I sold at 50, 51 grand. Okay, not the highest. I think I, I, think I sold over here. Right? No, no, no. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, correct. I, I, uh, I sold 51 grand, stake all my coins, and then when it go, watch it go all the way up, and then boom, all the way down. Boom, 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 boom. And when it, and then, because it was three monthly stake, I renewed twice. I renewed once, I think. Three months from September. No, I, I renewed twice. Actually, I had nine months I was staked. So, then it went all the way down right now to where we are today. I'm comfortable. Like, even if my entry point of uh, Bitcoin goes to 10,000, 5,000, I'll end up just buying more or hodling on because I believe in the intrinsic value of Bitcoin. That's me, right? You got to do your own due diligence. You got to do your own research. But I'm comfortable to tell you that I'm, I've taken a position in crypto, right? So let's talk about that's, that's Bitcoin. Let's talk about Ethereum. Okay, scroll down to the price action. Okay, if you look at max for Ethereum, again, very similar uh, trajectory, right? From down here, it went all the way up to, at high, I think about 5 grand, 4.7. 4 okay, again, I sold off most of my uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin at the same time. Um, I think I sold my, my Ethereum was about 3 grand one, I think. It wasn't 4 grand. And for since then, I staked, 
the stable coin when I sold my Ethereum and Bitcoin. And then after it went all the way up and crashed all the way down, I re-entered. Ah, I didn't buy below a thousand, I bought about a thousand fifty, right? I'm not again, like what I said about Bitcoin and most of other altcoins, Bitcoin Ethereum can slide another 20, 30, 50 percent from where it is today. And altcoins, oh <laughs> we can it can slide from 50 to 80 to 90 percent more from today's price, right? But I'm looking at from the uh, from at the high and and the price action today. And look at the intrinsic value of Bitcoin, um, Ethereum, right? And some of the altcoins that I'm in, right? It's here to stay. There's intrinsic value. I'll just hodl. I'll just buy more. And I just thought to let you know what I'm doing. This is one part of my uh, in investing philosophy where is there's good uh, value stuff that's going on sale, I'll buy, right? I've set aside a budget. I'll probably keep buying. Right now, it's June 27. I'll probably keep buying all the way down and to maybe next year, if the price is still delicious like this. And I'm, I'm not only buying Bitcoin and Ethereum, I'm buying Kronos as well. Uh, what else did I buy? I did, actually, these are my core. Uh, I bought some of the ALBT, right, Alliance Bank, and I bought one more, which is the Revolution Populi. This, these are the, 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 the things that I'm holding right now. But of course, do your own due diligence, do your own research, okay? If you're comfortable with crypto and you're entering it, I'm looking from the from the at high all the way drop the price until 70% discount. So I'm looking at it from that perspective. And these are some of the projects that I really like, that I believe has intrinsic value. This is not a call to invest, call to buy anything. It's what I'm doing. And I thought I'd just let you know. That's all I have for you today, boys and girls. Take care. And this is a time for you to make money. Most of the money is made, you must understand, in the bear markets. Okay? The money is not made just in bull markets. Yes, you can buy high and sell higher. Okay? But it's really hard to catch the momentum. It's really hard to catch the timing. Right? But right now, <laughs> I feel that we have a lot of um, uh, margin of protection. After after Bitcoin, Ethereum drops seventy percent. It's easy, right? That's even if you if you fall down a little bit more. Eventually, within two, three, four, five years, right, it will pick up and it will go past its previous at the high. And that's all I have for you today. Take care. Bye.